Welcome to the Mitas Euro Cup Series tractor pulling from the Branda Pulling Arena in Denmark for the final round of the 2.5 tonne modified class. A large crowd are certainly in for a treat today with some of these machines pushing out over 4,000 horsepower. Thirteen Euro Cup tractors and three local Danish machines with a good variety of engine types and configurations, this promises to be a very exciting class. As we look at the current standings, it is pretty clear for the top position with double screaming on 90 points, but a good three-way battle for the remaining podium spots. All to play for today in the last round. And our first competitor on track today is Mads Hansen from Denmark with his machine Elkow Metal Boy. Let's see what he can do down this new track at Branda. V8 IV curve configuration, turbocharged engine. Seems to be working very hard down the track, the engine breathing quite heavily. Dragging him down there for a final distance of 81 metres and 44 centimetres. Confirmation from the track crew, the sledge has been set, so the tractors are now in competition. Looking from the sledge, you can see not the perfect run for Metal Boy. But I'm sure even with this heavy setting, one or two will be looking for that full pull run. Next competitor to the line. And this is one of the top contenders, currently in third place overall. And this is De Jong Special, driven by Toyn De Jong from the Netherlands. Twin Rover Meteor setup on this tractor. Certainly be looking for the full pull line. Nice balance down the track, run down the right hand side, looks like a nice line for him. Through the end there, looks like a nice full pull from the Yong Special. Super run. So one tractor into the final. Tony will go back and prepare it. And we caught up with one of the other main contenders earlier. See what his thoughts were. Your high expectations today. It's a good track and um, the weather is okay now, maybe rain later, but uh, it has to be a good event. Yeah, um, it's a tough competition. I, I know the, the, the best from Europe are, are here today. So, uh, who are you who are you looking out for today? And um, of course, Dobby Screaming is the top favorite. He, I think, he takes the victory today. But then we're looking at uh, the young special and Russian roulette, and also the Danish Fenrir is also good running. So uh, it's a tough competition. But I mean, uh, we are in Denmark. You you should uh, you should beat them in Denmark, should you? We try. Of course, we try. We hope to be in top three at least. And here we are on track now. Paul Eiger Janssen from Denmark with his tractor he calls Black Power. Multiple European champion, three new Century V8 motors up the front, and he's looking for that full pull line. Lots of RPM off the line, nice straight run. Just dragging him down there before the full pull, 97 metres and 89 centimetres. I'm sure Paul will not be very happy with that. We'll see what he thinks. I guess you're, uh, I guess you're pretty pissed right now. Yeah, that's a... Uh... Not a bad word to say about it. What 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 exactly happened out there? Uh, we all don't know. We have uh, troubles to get out in the start. The first 30 meter was terrible, and then it's just too late. Next man on track. This is Jonas Homer from Norway, with his machine called Never Satisfied. Originally from the Netherlands, it's a turbocharged IH466 motor in it. Nice balance on the run there. Today's got it all together today. Confirmation from the measuring tower. Full pull for never satisfied. 
It looks as though the right-hand side of the track is favouring them. The last two tractors with full pulls, just down the right-hand side. Jonas looking very happy there, and we'll see him back in the final. Next tractor is Green Monster. This is driven by Tobias Horskamp from Germany. V12 Alice in configuration on this machine. A little bit bouncy in the run, I think that maybe would have cost him metres. They are final distance of 84 metres and 60 centimetres. So not today for Tobias. Thirsty work here in Denmark. The sun is out. He caught up with the current leader in the series in the pits. See what he thought of his chances today. Today is the last Euro Cup. The, the, uh, the most important thing uh, today is to win the Euro Cup. Uh, so I hope that I will get in the top three and then I will be a Euro Cup champion for sure. But I, I always like to win, so I'm uh, also uh, hope, to, hope to winning. But top three is okay. OK, so we heard it there from Barry. He needs to be on the podium today to guarantee his Euro Cup victory. So, by my maths, he needs to be in the pull-off. Two already there. We'll be looking for that full pull line. Two Brad Anderson motors looking very good there together. Nice strong run for him. Flies through the end there. Those engines revving up there, we look at the onboard. Super run there, I'm sure Barry will be very happy with that one. This is the third tractor into the pull-off. As you can see it, pleased with the job he's done so far today. I think the crowd appreciate that run there from double screen. Next man to the line, this is the only Brit in the competition, and this is Ashley Middleton with his tractor Black Gold. Ashley must be our oldest competitor here today, in his 70s, still going strong, still as keen as mustard on the tractor pulling. Lovely tractor black gold, just a bit of a bounce on there, so that would have cost him some metres. It's pulled down there, the final distance of 87 metres and 29 centimetres for black gold. Next man to the line, this is Jack Steinen from the Netherlands with his tractor Rocket Science. Like most of these tractors in the class, they're running on methanol and this is a DAF 1260 engine with turbocharger set up on it. Very strong normally, Let's see how he does. Super balance on the way down here. And that's our fourth competitor, I think, in the pull-off. Yep, confirmation from the measuring tower. Once again, slightly down the right-hand side. Seems to be the line today. As you see on the back of the tractor, one hell of a ride. Jack's definitely happy there. So that's, I say, four in the pull-off now. Next man up. And this is Ron Neuten from the Netherlands with Woody Woodpecker. Very similar setup. Turbocharged engine there. This one's an IH-466 on board. A little bit bouncy in and out of the track there. Looks as though he's shut off. Distance of 86 metres and 76 centimetres for Ron. Next is one of the tractors Barry mentioned earlier that could be very strong today. And this is our turbine tractor. Russian Roulette XL, driven by Issa Lutton from the Netherlands. Two Issa Toffs on board here. Looks a nice run. Superb balance. It's dragging him down at the end. Let's see how close it is to the full pull. Distance of 99 metres and 54. Unlucky today. straight run down the middle of the track. We caught up with a new competitor from Denmark with a tractor called Fenrir. This is a very similar setup to double screaming with twin Brad Anderson motors. So we asked Barry Ball what he thought their chances were today. It's almost the same as us, two engines in the front and uh, strong engines. 
He's uh, not doing as well as we expected this year, but he's still learning, and I, I will be sure he will get there. But he's, he's a little bit struggling, but he has to learn it. So I think in a, uh, maybe next year they are coming uh, to the top. So we give him a little bit, a little bit tricks about uh, how to drive and uh, how to set up the tractor. Yeah. But we don't uh, tell ev everything because uh, we have also our own secrets. That's why we are winning. So. So we have Fenrir to the line, driven by Soren Jakobsen. I say, the Danish fans will be rooting for this tractor. See what he can do. Quite a slow start. Seems to be struggling to get into the track. I think that's going to cost him metres. Engine sounding good, but getting dragged down there early at 79 metres and 46 centimetres. As you can see a lot of bounce on there, not really getting the traction on the ground. You can have all the horsepower, but if you don't get it to the floor, you're not going to get to the full pull. Next competitor, this is Ultralight, no limits. From the Netherlands, at the wheel today, it's Gerard Jonkman. Tractor slightly different. Both engines in line instead of side by side like we've seen on double screaming. Then rear. Looks like a strong run here from no limit. Just dragging him down slightly short of the full pull. In a distance of 94 meters and 11 centimeters. But there are young men. And the no limit. Started off down the middle of the track. I think got slightly pulled to the left-hand side. Shutting down just before the full pull line. Gerard seems fairly happy with that. Fairly strong, the engines today. Now we have the last competitor in the Euro Cup. Before we go on to the national competition from the Danish tractors. This is truck power, driven by Klaus Larsen. Not really getting the power down. A lot of shake on the tractor there. I don't think there's something quite right in the setup today for truck power. A distance of 40 meters and 85 centimeters. You can even see some fluid lost on the track there, so she wasn't very happy running today. Next man up, this is Kim Schultz with the tractor he calls Ghost. engine set up there. A little bit less horsepower than the Eurocup guys and dragged down 67 metres and 81 centimetres. Next man to the track and this is a totally new configuration here we haven't seen before today and this is a radial engine on board and this is a tractor called the Oil Addict driven by Dennis Yule. Totally different setup to the V8s we've been watching, the V12s. Looks like he's having a superb run here, and that would have put him well in with the Eurocup tractors. Final distance then for Oil Addict, 89 metres and 68 centimetres. See the slow mo, lovely balance from him, a little bit of side to side. I'm sure he's very, very pleased with that. The crowd appreciating that setup, the radial engine machine. Last man in the competition today, and this is Finn Larson, the tractor he calls Dingo. Turbocharged diesel engine set up on here. See what he can do. Lots of RPM at the line. Fuel comes in and he's away. Nice balance from the Dingo. Very happy looking tractor this one. Final distance for Dingo of 85 metres and 49 centimetres. That concludes the first runs and it will be the pull off next.
caught up with Lars from the DTP to explain a little bit about the new arena at Brandon. It was a spectator who contacted us and said he had 20 hectares of land that we could build a pulling arena on. We started negotiations with him and after a year and a half we have got what you see here today. Clay that we drive on is not just clay but also a mixture of sand and sphagnum. This process was done over a few years. So when the competitors from all over Europe came to Herning, they would say that this was the perfect track to test their equipment on. We didn't compromise, so we ordered diggers and trucks to come and move the 600 cubic meters of clay from Herning to Brando. All units have doubled in size. Before we had five hectare for both track and paddock, whereas today we have five hectare for each of them. We also have five hectare for camping site and five hectare for parking. We have been well received here in Brander from both council, trade and public. You can feel that they are 100% behind us and they want to make it a success. It's a great setup here. Lots of room with an open paddock and we are not all on top of each other as before. Yeah, it looks very nice. Uh, it's completely new as you can see and um, I hope the track is well. I heard it took the track with him. To, uh, from the Herning Arena to uh, here, and uh, I hope it works out. The track we took with us from Herning should be familiar to competitors, but the other one they might have to spend some time getting used to. I'm sure it will be a success. Yeah, but I see uh, the first uh, yeah, this morning, we come in last night, it's very, uh, very big and used. used uh, it is, uh, yeah, it looks like everything is okay, but uh, I think the track is also okay, and uh, yeah, I think uh, for the first time it's uh, real good, everything. Oh, it's, it's an excellent facility. I mean, there's it's plenty, er plenty of areas, it's a good bit of space. Uh, yeah, no, I think the organizers have done a very good job. The soil here has more sand in it. So if it is raining a lot, that will be a big advantage. The new place is great. It's, uh, it's, gra it's uh, lots of space here, so it's, it's very good. And the track, that is the old track from Herning, so... It's, it should be okay. I think it's got a lot of potential. It's nice and wide open space, plenty of room to park the trucks, plenty of spectator room. Uh, yeah, I think this is a, a venue that's got a, a good opportunity to put Danish track pulling back on the map. I think it's a great move. Yeah, earning was good. This is, uh, I think, even better because uh, in the pit area there's a lot of space. You can uh, walk for uh, meters, 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 and you see only tractors, so that's uh, good. There's a uh, good space for tractors. The tracks are uh, looking good. The arena looks also very good here, so I, I like it. So, I mean, the track is good, and we can put on some horsepower, then I'm uh, happy. The track is the same. It has been moved from Herney and has been made even better. The area is big and makes it a great space. So back to the action with the pull off final for the 2.5 ton modified Eurocup class. Competitors getting ready in the pits, looking to see what they can get set up for the final run. Just to summarise, four tractors in the pull-off. Three from Holland and one from Norway. Current leader Barry Bohr on double screaming, just needing a podium to become EuroCup champion. And De Jong Special looking for the all-out victory. And here he is, first man to the track in the pull-off. Join De Jong and De Jong Special see what he can do and set the distance for them to be. This on board shot there getting very close to the left. Oh no. Line man has signalled. I think he's disqualified out of bounds. You see as he runs down on the left. White marker paint on the tyre. Unfortunately that's the end of the day for Young Special.
next man up to try and set the distance. And this is Jonas Umar, who's never satisfied. Nice strong run in the qualification. Gets it away from the line very well. Nice balance. Looks like a good run there to set a distance for them to aim at. Confirmed from the measuring turn. 97 metres and 54 centimetres. A distance to beat. Jonas looks pretty happy with that. Large Dutch crowd here at Brander. Now the champion in waiting, Barry Bohr on double screaming. Elmer Bohr there just updating the social media sites, I'm sure. All down to you now, Barry. Lovely run straight down the middle. That's definitely moved the flag. We'll have to see the distance in a minute. 105 metres and 19 centimetres. So double screaming into the lead. Super run there from him. Now he's very happy there. Looks as though the trophy's his now. Only one competitor left to run. And here we have this is rocket science. Let's see what Jack can do on the final run of the day. Nice balance again. Straight run down the track. And a distance of 97 metres and 94 centimetres. Good enough for a second place for rocket science today. And he's definitely happy with that big smile on his face there coming back down the tow lane. The crowd have seen a superb competition today. And just to confirm there, your winner Double screaming with 105 metres and 19 centimetres in the pull-off. Rocket Science in second. Never satisfied taking the final podium place today. So there's your winners on the day. I'm sure there'll be a little bit of champagne being sprayed around very soon. To conclude the Danish Championship podium today, the winner there was Paul Iger Janssen with Black Power. And to finally wrap up the action on the 2.5 tonne modified here from Brander, your Euro Cup Series champion for the year, Barry Bohr with double screaming. Yeah, the season was very good for me. It started perfect with a win in Sweden, win in uh, France and win in uh, the Netherlands. So we were uh, leading the points for, directly from the start So and uh, we never gave it away. So I'm very happy. Welcome to the Mitash Euro Cup Series from the Brander Pulling Arena in Denmark for the final round of the 3.5 tonne Pro Stock class. Probably the most international of all the Euro Cup classes with teams from seven countries competing. There are eight Valtra, four John Deere, three Ford, two Case and one each of McCormick and Massey Ferguson brands competing today in this diesel only class. These tractors are the nearest of all the Euro Cup classes to standard production machines but are still capable of producing in excess of 2,000 horsepower. Just the final round to go, if we look at the standings, you can see it's very tight at the top with only three points separating the first four tractors. So we caught up with the leader, One Trick Pony, and his driver Rob Uphill to see what he thought of his chances. Uh, it's, yeah, it's four years old. We built it four years ago. Um, it's a component chassis, um, IH436 engine. Uh, in the Pro Stock class, it's uh, a Sigma pump, 
uh, a four and a half inch turbo, uh, large intercooler. It's going to be a tough class. There, there's 20 good tractors. Um, it depends on the weather as well, but uh, yeah, no, it, 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 it's going to be good. It'll be, it'll be a fair class. So final preparations on the track and we get ready for our test puller, which is our interviewee. And this is Rob Uphill with One Trick Pony. Rob's a machinery dealer from Somerset in England. And as he said, it's very tight at the top. Let's see what happens. He needs to set the mark for the guys to follow. Nice start from Rob, seems to have it all together. Nice and straight down the track. And it looks like a good run here from One Trick Pony. Have a look at the onboard, you can see confirmation of full pull. See if the sledge is set. Nice strong run there from Rob, but it looks fairly heavy on the sledge setting, so I'm sure they'll be altering that after his run. Confirmation, yes, they are lightening the sledge, but as Rob has full pulled on a heavier setting, he will be able to keep that distance. So they'll be looking for the full pull line now to stay in competition. Now, next man, this is Ted Nicholson, driving his tractor he calls Rough Justice. In Pease Lake in Surrey, England, our second Englishman to the track today. Nice run there from Ted. Looks as though that's still a little bit short there. Yep, 94 metres and 39 centimetres. I'm sure there'll be a further discussion to see if they lighten the sledge, because the next man to the track is one of our top contenders, and that is a local tractor, John Deere 2. I, I hope to do it well, but... Uh... A handling tractor, uh, this is the same material as handling, and uh, our tractor is not always the best in that material, so... Uh, but we hope we go well, instead, but there's hard competition. So, as Rasmus says, he'll see how he gets on on this track. Uh, the man from Denmark here, currently in third position in the championship. See what he can do. have got away quite nicely. A little bit side to side on there, but straight down the middle of the track. Once again, slightly short of the full pull line. 96 metres and 26 centimetres. Quite a nice run there from Rasmus, but as you can see, a little bit short. Further discussions with the sledge crew, and it's been lightened once more. Asmus waving to the crowd there, I'm sure he's not 100% happy with that. He'd be looking to get out for the full pull. So the sledge is being lightened once more, and we'll see back then the two test pullers that didn't achieve the full pull on the first run, and that'll be Rough Justice and John Deere 2 on this new lighter setting. It was very heavy to get out, but uh, the international, the first one was, well, my comic was, was out. I don't know. Uh, he's good running. Maybe it's because he was the first on the track, I don't know. But now they, they lighted the sleds up, so we'll try again. There we have it. The sledge is reset again. And our next man to the line, and this is the Kawe Runaway Deer, driven by Wilco Brooks from the Netherlands. A completely rebuilt tractor from last season. He's been getting stronger and stronger throughout the year. And we'll see what he can do on this lighter sledge setting. Nice run straight down the middle of the track and flies through the looks of it. A nice full pull there from Runaway Deer. Confirmation the sledge is set and now that is our second tractor into the pull-off. Remember, One Trick Pony earlier achieved the full pull with a heavier sledge setting, so he's allowed to keep that distance. Now, first of the Hurleby team tractors from Finland. And this is Pekka Hurleby driving Sigma Power. Valtra Grandstand there, they'll be looking for a good run from Pekka. Multiple European and Euro Cup champion. New design on the tractors this season. Again, been dialing them in. Let's see if he's got the horsepower today. 
look slightly short there as we see the slow motion 96 meters and 29 centimeters for sigma power next one back this is our first of the two test pullers returning this is rough justice again driven by ted nicholson nice start a little bit of side to side on there which will affect probably his distance overall looks as though he's come up slightly short of the full pull 93 metres and 68 centimetres for Rough Justice. Crowd appreciating it here in the sunshine today. We're forecast for some rain later. It looks as though it's staying away for now. OK, second test puller back to try again, and this is John Deere 2. These guys will be looking to leave the line in somewhere in the region of 6,000 RPM and taking wheel speeds up to 90 kilometres per hour. If it all goes to plan, 10 seconds later they have a full pull. Looks as though he's been dragged down there a little bit early as well. Let's have a look on the slow-mo. Yes, 94 metres and 56 centimetres, the final distance for John Deere 2. Unfortunately not Rasmus's day today. So that's one of the top three not quite made it through to the final. You can see him looking across. Not quite enough today, Rasmus. Next man, and this is the second of the Valtras today, and this is Countdown from Sweden, driven by Christian Ruden. Relatively new to the sport, second season with the tractor. Quite a nice run straight down the middle of the track there. Final distance of 94 metres and 34 centimetres. Now our next man to the line, this is Daniel Vreens from the Netherlands with a machine he calls Neighbours Nightmare. Very strong tractor, been running well recently in the Netherlands and he'll be looking to join the other two in the pull-off. Looks as though he's got quite a lot of wheel speed off the line, nice balance. Absolutely flying through the end there. So that's our third man in the pull-off there. Full pull from Neighbours Nightmare. Crowd seem to be enjoying the action today. Daniel fairly happy with that run, I think. Now we have Tira from Norway. This tractor is driven by Odd Friedstad. This is his first season in EuroCup. Purchased this tractor from the Hurleby team at the end of last season. See how he gets on today here at Brander. Getting dragged down there, the turbo stalling just at the end of the run. We look there, 90 metres and 66 centimetres for Tira. Norwegian crowd happy to be here to watch their man today. Okay, it's case power time now, and this is Extreme Temptation from the Netherlands, driven by William de Vos. It's a magnum based machine, this one. Runs very strong in the Netherlands normally. As I say, to stay in contention, he needs a full pull. Lots of engine RPM off the line there. Looks as though he's got it hooked up fairly well. Just see there taking a line from the right to the left hand side of the track and spinning out right at the end there. Oh, just missing the full pull, 99 metres and 65 centimetres for Extreme Temptation. A large section of Dutch supporters in the crowd appreciating that run from William. So, still three full pulls. William now moving into fourth place. We've still got a lot of tractors to come. Next tractor to the line, and this is the first of the Bear Essentials team from England. And this is Mike Simmons driving Ice Bear. the Valtra base machine fairly consistent running this season see how he gets on today at Brandon going down the right hand side of the track by the looks of it fairly strong but not quite enough for the full pull today I don't think Mike now we have it 97 meters and nine centimeters for Ice Bear Another voucher to the line, and this is the second Hurleby machine. 
And this is driven by affectionately known as the queen of tractor pulling, Johanna Hurleby, and her tractor, Doris. A nice run from Johanna. Sounds as though it's just maybe stalling out. Yes, can't quite handle the mission, whether it was the turbo or too high a gear. Final distance for Doris of 95 metres and 88 centimetres. So three through to the final with five tractors still to run. So as we see Johanna on Doris going back to the pit lane. Large crowd in the stand there for Vulture supporters appreciating her run. OK, our only Massey Ferguson in the class today, and this is Bad Boy's Toy, driven by Renny Manders from the Netherlands. Different configuration to all the other tractors. This is a V8. All the other ones in the class are straight six-cylinder machines. A little bit different setup for Bad Boy's Toy. Quite a nice run down the middle, coming across to the left-hand side. Little chuff on the turbo there, and a final distance of 94 metres and 71 centimetres. Rene looks happy with that result there today for Bad Boy's Toy. And with two of the top four contenders still to run, we caught up with Rasmus again from the John Deere team. We're a little bit confused now what we do or not, so uh, sometimes you meet a track but not, you not really can figure out. And that was the same when this material was in Herning. We could not always could figure that out. So if I'm lucky, third, but I, I don't think so. So we must see what's happening. Maybe Michael can do it. So now it's all up to Michael. Yeah, but I, I don't think he, his tyre can do it now. So we must see. And here we have John Deere 1, and this is Michael Galsgaard from Denmark, second tractor from the John Deere team. And as Rasmus said, it's all up to Michael now, see what he can do. Currently in fourth place in the Euro Cup overall. So he needs to join the other guys with a full pull. It's a nice run here from Michael. Yep, there you see it. Hand in the air. Confirmed full pull from the measuring tower. So we have another one of the top contenders into the final. Danish crowd really appreciating that run there. Their local man there ready to compete for the top podium step. Yeah, we get it worked on my tractor now, and it uh, seems to be very good. Uh, but on Rasmus' tractor, we, we couldn't make it, so uh, we, I think we get the best out of it. Uh, maybe not maybe not a first place, but uh, I think it will be quite good in the final. But, I mean, uh, the championship is still within reach? Yes, it still is. If I do it, uh, I have to win. You have to win? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Then, uh, then I have points enough. OK, the last tractor from the Hurleby pulling team, and this is Mad Croc Caesar, driven by Matty Hurleby. Fifth place overall, so he needs to be joining the guys in the pull-off, see if he can contend for those top three places in the Euro Cup this series. Just have a look at the replay there, confirmed full pull for Mad Croc Caesar. Five tractors in the pull-off now. Two of the top four contenders there. Finnish crowd happy there. One of their men in the final. As you see, the grandstand very happy with that run from Matty. They've got a man in the final now to fight for the top place. We know that we are not the, the one with the, the most horsepower, but... Uh... We try to uh, push everything out of the tractor and try to make a good balance and th stuff like that. I want to beat everybody. And here we have the number two place tractor in the whole series, and this is Next Sensation from the Netherlands, driven by Durian Dijn. Looks like a nice run here, come down the left-hand side, just digging in slightly. Have a look at the onboard. Full pull confirmed from the measuring tower. So there we have our sixth competitor into the final. But most importantly, three out of the top four there. So it's all still to play for in the pull-off. 
Furian very happy with that, waving to the crowd as he makes his way back to the pits. Final tractor to run in the Eurocup class, and this is Baby Bear. This is the second tractor from the Bear Essentials team, based at Shrewsbury in England. And the driver today on Baby Bear is Andy Miller. Not quite got the wheel speed of some of the other tractors off the line. Reasonable balance, but just dragging him down there. Short of the full pull. 90 metres and 52 centimetres for Baby Bear. So that concludes the first runs in this 3.5 ton Pro Stock Eurocup class. We're all getting ready for the pull off now. We have six tractors in contention, three from the Netherlands, and one each from Great Britain, Denmark, and Finland. One McCormick, three John Deere's, and two Valtteri's. Now we have our points leader, and this is One Trick Pony. Seems a long time ago that Rob went out on the heavier setting and did a nice full pull. So he's been sitting in the pits waiting for everybody else to join him in the final. And they'll be looking to set the distance for them all to try and beat. Driver's very keen to see what Rob does on this first run in the pull-off. Again, looks like a very nice run there from One Trick Pony. Almost straight down the middle of the track. Engine sounding very good. Guys are looking there, see what Rob's done with the setup, see what they can do for their run. Looks pretty strong, a distance of 96 metres and 77 centimetres. Bit of discussion with the John Deere team, they'll be looking for a different setup there. Rob should be very happy with that, that's a cracking run in the pull off. Crowd appreciating it. No, I, I was happy with that, um, so uh, we'll see what the other lads can do. and. Um, it's just nice, it's all down to the wire and uh, it's going to be hard for. OK, second tractor in the final. This is Kawe Runaway Deer. First tractor from the Netherlands. Let's see what he can do. Absolutely flying first run in the qualification. Looked very strong. Let's see how good really Rob's run was. Seems to have got it all together there. Straight down the middle of the track. A distance of 92 metres and 78 centimetres. Fairly close, but not quite enough there to trouble One Trick Pony, still at the top of the leaderboard. Our second Dutchman, Daniel Vreen, did back again with his tractor, Neighbours Nightmare. It's away nicely off the line there, nice balance from Neighbours Nightmare. Going to be closer, I think. Rob looking across there, not quite sure, has a look at the measuring tower. Oh, just still in front there, 93 metres and 89 centimetres for Neighbours Nightmare. Moves him into second place in the pull-off. Fourth man to the line in the final. And this is Michael Galsgaard again with John Deere 1. Currently in fourth place overall in the series. He'll be looking to try and get round Rob's distance. Rob looking on very attentively. Remember the distance to beat, 96 metres and 77 centimetres. There we have it, not quite today for John Deere 1. Distance of 92 metres and 27 centimetres. OK, fifth man in the pull-off, and this is Matty Hurlevy on Mag Croc Caesar. Fifth place overall in the standings. Victory today will move him slightly up the leaderboard. Let's see what he can do. Tractor looking as though it's getting very warm on this second run. I think that's probably affected his overall distance. You can see there, 89 metres and 81 centimetres. So, with one to go, Rob's still in the driving seat there. Some discussions there, they're all looking contently around to see what's going to happen with the main contender that's coming next. Yeah. 
Next sensation team getting started up in the pits. Remember to take the series victory. They have to beat Rob Uphill today with one trick pony. Second isn't good enough. I think it went okay um, as, it, as it expected to, uh, because our tyres are not like the other ones and we haven't thought we could do it better today. So I think it's good enough. Okay, so all down to the last man in the pull-off. Distance to beat for next sensation, 96 metres and 77 centimetres. Rob looking on nervously there. Last tractor in the class. Let's see what Durian can do on board next sensation. Pretty teeth from Mr Uphill. Nice run, doesn't look as though it's got quite the wheel speed. Coming up slightly short, we think. You see in the distance there, 91 metres, 54 centimetres. So, one trick pony, Rob Uphill. Looks as though he's taken the victory there. All the pullers congratulating him in the pit area. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Super result for the Englishman. So, as we look at a replay of Next Sensation's run, we'll see what Rob thought for the overall result. Uh, we've had two wins and a fifth. Uh, the lads and the team will work really hard, and I'm pleased for them. Uh, I'm pleased for the, you know, all the guys that have helped me, all my sponsors. So uh, yeah, it's been a, it's been a good season. And there we are, confirmation: the victory going to One Trick Pony, with a full pull and 96 meters and 77 centimeters. Got three podiums today in the local Danish competition. There, John Deere one taking the victory. In the Euro Cup class for the day, as we've seen there today, Rob Uphill on One Trick Pony with the victory, Neighbours Nightmare in second, and Kawe Runaway Deer taking the final podium spot. And the big one overall, the Euro Cup series, the victory this year for 2014, One Trick Pony and Rob Uphill. That concludes our coverage from the Brand of Pulling Arena in Denmark.